Hi friends, it's Lindsay with Emeralds and Fairy Lights and I'm here today for a post review on this kit which is called Green Eyes by Aristo Caddy. This one has been a lot of fun. I did this one pretty quick. Um, it, the last video on my channel was actually the unboxing of this one. But before we get into the full review, let's get a close up of this. Okay, so this one was actually sent to me as a sneak peek by Diamond Art Club. That's why I had it so quickly, um, which a big thank you to them. Um, the minute that I pulled it out, I was like, oh my gosh, I just, I want to do this one. It's pretty, it's cute, and also, um, like, <laughs> it's just an aesthetic that I love. Like, you know, a lot of people were saying this maybe looked like Billie Eilish, um, I kind of more of look at it as like a witch and her familiar and as you guys know I'm just a big fan of Halloween and I I like to collect like witch paintings for Halloween like for fun kind of you know collection for Halloween time and I do the festival of witches um, in September and October of the year which there will be one this year as well. But anyway, so this is one that you could do, I think. But this one I just thought was so fun, the color blocking. So this took me about four days. And to be honest, that wasn't even me just like power drilling through everything. Like this was really um, a, a quick kit. There were 30 or 45 colors in this kit. So you'd think, oh, well, was there was there any confetti? And like, really? No. <laughs> Even in the hair where you'd maybe expect some confetti, these were pretty much just lines. There was this area right here that blended these two whites. I bet you can't even tell that there's two whites going on here. And I would say that was the only place that got really like um, confetti, but that was just because like every other one <laughs> was the cream or the white. And so... If you are a color blocking fan, this kit I think is for you. If you just love confetti, I don't know, this kit's for you. <laughs> um, but I think this rendered so well. It's very close to the original image. I will show that, I have it right here. So I think it is gorgeous. This is the first piece from Aristo Cotti that Diamond Art Club has released. And um, did I give you the dimensions? This is a 20 by 20 inch or a 51 by 51 centimeter, and it is round. Now these are Diamond Art Club's new round drills, and I will give you just a bit of a look. Now I have to say, <laughs> these sparkle is unreal. Um, I've, I've mentioned that these drills are not shiny on the surface. Like when you look at just a drill, they almost kind of seem dull, but they when they're placed like this, they are incredibly shiny. Um, this the cat, if you look directly on it, just has so much sparkle going on. And then um just even on top though, these are all A B, so of course they sparkle even more. But wow, I think they this whole kit. Um, I, I have it laying in a pile of finishes and I just noticed that even out of those finishes, this one completely like outsparkled them. So I think that's the thing with the new rounds that Diamond Art Club has is that they are incredibly sparkly. And even if you might not think when first looking at them that they're sparkly, ding, they just sparkly sparkle like crazy when you put on the canvas and all together in fact part of it is you kind of like when you're looking at this cat in real life like you almost don't even see the black because the sparkle so much like I mean not that you don't know it's a black cat and it's a cute black cat it's just the sparkle is insane um, if you're unaware Diamond Art Club has recently moved to manufacturing their own drills which in my opinion is a neat 
a neat thing that they've really done because they have control over the quality of their drills, the material that goes into their drills. And while I do think these are incredibly sparkly, I do think there was actually quite a bit of trash, which I will show you. So I did keep my trash because this was a new round and this is the trash that I had from this kit. Now I would say there was a whole bunch of different stuff in it. Ah, there's one drill, but I don't think you guys care that much about one drill. I did think there was quite a bit of um, trash, more so than I usually would have in a rounds kit from Diamond Art Club. But you know, overall, this is really not that much trash. <laughs> like, let's be real. I mean, when you're going through so many drills, the most problem I think was the the holes on the top of drills or little I have noticed that they have a lot more of these where there's like a dark thing in the drill like it's almost like they got like the tray wasn't cleaned enough or um but you can see like right there on this brown one that it has like a dark spot on it and so it's almost like what the manufacturing of the drill that it got mixed with a little bit of color in it then some of them have like lines you know like they got over poured or something like that but for the most part oh and then there's like the funny random squares that you get like i got a red square in there and a random yellow a b but hey it's funny it's one of those things where i always wonder how that happened but <laughs> So that was the trash for the kit, if you're wondering. Um, I overall feel like they they just the sparkle at the when the when the painting is finished is amazing. And I um I, I was really a little bit questioning because like I said, I did think they were a little bit duller when I was working on them. Um let me see if I can like even show you. Um I'll just grab one of the colors. And okay, so I don't know if you can see this, but they're not your typical shiny drills. Like they're not glossy on the top, but do you see that sparkle when you just move the tray around? You can see one actually right there that has a little bit of a dark spot on it. But oh, and the one right there. But still, um, that I think that's the trade-off. And in a way, it's really neat how it sparkles. I've said this a gazillion times now. Let's <laughs> let's move on. So I had more than enough drills. There wasn't any that I felt like I was going to run out of. Um, this is, I'll show you. I had two containers, the drills that I had left over. So plenty. And the ones that have a few drills in them were the ones that had a few drills on the canvas. And um, so for the most part, I didn't have issues with static except for one color but I have recently discovered um static spray <laughs> not recently discovered but I recently tried putting it on drills and I think it's a lifesaver but um so that was the drills I didn't have any issues with sticky so much. There was a few places where I felt like the drills maybe slid a little bit um, and like the glue wasn't quite cured, but it didn't seem like it was an issue long term. I just refixed it and kept going. Um, so I don't, I think there, I didn't have any problems with stickiness for the most part. And of course their canvases are always so nice. You know, you don't have any of the fraying. You, you don't appreciate how nicely these are edged until you start working on like a Dreamer Designs canvas or a Diamond Dots canvas that fray like you've never seen. <laughs> I guess that's what I compare it to as far as why I know that fraying can be such a big issue getting little fibers in your painting all over, especially in rounds. Um, I do I do think this one... Um, it would be even a good starter piece if you like this kind of aesthetic. Um, this cat is actually a lot more navy blue. That's the one thing I was surprised about. But I feel like when you see the, 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 when the painting is farther back, you don't see the navy. So when I was first working on it, I was like, holy crap, this cat is not black is navy but then um the you know once it's finished and 
I've seen it from farther away. I feel like you don't really see the navy. It just gives a really good accent to the black cat. And this is one that I definitely would love to frame and put up at Halloween time with the witches that I have finished um, to start my gallery of <laughs> Halloween witches and stuff like that. Um, let me know what you guys think about this kit. I Overall, I think it's awesome. I wanted to share it with you guys because I know it's a new release. It's still available. It's in stock. This is not a limited release, so um, it's not one that like I would say you have to buy it right now because in, in the general release, however, you just never know what's I'm an art club as we've seen in this last week with the Josephine Walls and their licensing issues that came up that, that you know, they were having some issues negotiating with the, the licensing agency and, and you just never know what's going to happen <laughs> if they can be pulled. But I think Diamond Art Club, at least they let you know. Um, but for the most part, this kit is um, a general release and I think it should be restocked if it sells out, but um, it is still in stock right now anyway. So um, I hope you guys have a great day. Again, if you didn't see my community post, my family, we've been really sick. Um, again, thanks to preschool. Um, <laughs> um, and so, and I've, I've just, I've had a terrible migraine for almost a week. I, it's finally gone, but now I'm sick. So it's, it's been fun. Um, anyway, I hope you guys have a great day. And I will be back soon, hopefully, with details about the Emerald Along, as well as I have another post review for you guys. So um, I will see you guys in another video. Bye!